Hey everybody, Spoonfed here. Um, on my video on systems information for Windows, um, hwally777 asked if there was a way to uh, like protect yourself from these simple programs that generate a lot of info and um, Can easily get away with these things you know you put them on, on a USB stick and then you're off and some tools are for example uh, Nearsoft's IE pass it's one um, it will give you passwords that are stored in, in, in Internet Explorer you got one for Firefox you got one from Opera you got one for everyone every single thing even have one that shows you the wi wireless passwords on a computer and stuff like that. So um, my mind went to this new thing, uh, new tool that was made by uh, Microsoft called Enhanced Mitigation Experience Toolkit. Um, in my mind, it was something that could uh, possibly help you with, um, like, prevent the sort of stuff that he was asking so let us see if it actually works so here you go here um, so it's designed to help from getting access uh, software vulnerabilities blah blah blah, blah. Uh, so yeah so you got data execution prevention stuff like that helps harden legacy ease of use ease of deploy and whatnot so it was either that or something else called software restriction policies, but you only have the, that in uh, Windows, Windows Enterprise or Ultimate, I think, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so yeah, go for it. I we agree. And again, I have no idea what this tool does. It's the first time I'm booting it up and installing it and. Ah, we'll just see how far we're gonna get. Basically, we'll learn as we go along. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can allow access. All right, my computer has been infected. Well, this computer has been infected by a very annoying virus, and I have no idea where I got that from. It's not majorly. It's not a major concern of mine because it's just a virtual machine, and I hardly do anything on this so let's see uh, we have been successfully installed that's cool why is it still running then weird right so close this I'll probably have to reinstall this whole version of Windows it's that bad Alright, so um, here you can see which processes are running that and which processes are running under EMT. EMT. So we'll just say configure apps. Um, we're gonna add one, we're gonna add for example one that's very important right now. Uh pill there we go, because that's one that I start there all the time. We'll do everything on that, and we'll say all oh, right then. All right, so that's one configure system. Um, always on application opt-in, application opt-in. Okay, all right then. So the one is always on restarting system. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so here we go, run running, and we should be running this now under EMT. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, that's annoying. Yep. There we go. And there we go, we have this one running under 
EMT and what I can see here is this is actually a program that you can use to mitigate attacks that are like buffer overflows, stack overflows, that's the that sort of thing. Really exploits in a software, not necessarily the running of a software. Which is fine, but uh, let me get back to the question of H Wally. Run sacpol.mcc, uh, which you can only run if you're on a special version of Windows, so yeah, I cannot help searching that. I have no software restriction policies, so what I will do is new, go to security levels, you go to disallow, and you go to properties. And you can do this, of course, as set as default, but this is a rule that you can add to an application and software will not run. So you can do additional rules, and that is unrestricted. But the um, this is the basic. Software rights are determined by the access rights of the user. And you can also do software will not run, of course, but that's very sick if you do that. If you have you can also do uh, the disallowed as a standard, so software will not run at all, and uh, assign rules to each software as you go. So it's basically the best thing to do starting from a uh, clean setup to do disallowed and then set everything up as you go, what you need, what you don't need. Um, this one is properties, uh, but can still access no resources actually known by normal users. So this is like a sort of in between, and this is by the rights of the users. So um, yeah, so that's the one that I would then deal with uh, enforcement. You can um, do the apply software restriction to all softwares except libraries or just say no all software files even if it's the DLL I don't care um, I would do disallowed and that because then you remove the DLL files from the equation otherwise you have to search in for every DLL file um, all users of course um, you can do certificate rules but certificate rules uh, are located somewhere else also, this will hugely have an impact on your system because every time it has to read through the entire certificate. So I wouldn't do that if I were you. Then, of course, we got some file types on which you can. Uh, what is an executable code? And this varies a lot. I mean, this is uh, Windows script components, VB files, so it's that no, normal EXEs. But you also have maybe different files uh, that you don't want uh, people to run. Um, that's um, okay. You just add them in here, and software restriction, and of course trust the publishers. And you can do um, define these policy settings, and then go and set everything up that you so that you have like trusted publishers, uh, as it were. So the applications that you make your uh, yourself can be applied to trusted trusted uh, your wife of trust, as it were. So you don't need to set security levels for that. Um, and then you also have local policies, which security options got and, and, and everything like that. But uh, the, the software restriction policies are for, um, you know, running the software and whatnot. And you can set the level to disallowed. And then do each and every rule to uh, be basic user, as it were. So I think that's that's the best way to go then. Um, let me see if I can find something. Uh, download no, there's no. Well, yeah, we can go here.
So uh, um, yeah, I took a small break because I th well I thought I was done with the video, but then I thought, well, you need to of course be aware of how to actually add stuff to the rules. So if you say this is the basic level disallowed, then in additional rules you can create path or hash or certificates rules, but path rules is easiest. So you'll say um, this is will take quite a while actually. You can do I think you can do program files and then like the rest. But the easiest thing to do is to go in here and do that, that, and then say security level basic user uh, apply. Okay. That's one rule. Uh, I'm not sure if it will work. Yes. We can always just change this, so that's okay. Nah, see, it's still. No, no, no. Probably it relies on DLL files and stuff like that, so that's why this allowed is not like the best thing to do. Um. So, apply. No, that's what I figured. No, 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 it's alright. So, uh, set the default. There we go. So, this right here will probably use a lot of rights or use different rights so that's why I said it's easiest to start with a um, clean system and then w as you go along work everything in because uh, well yeah that's basically the easiest thing to do I'm just gonna do unrestricted there we go so oh, no, I need to remove that other line as well but that's kind of how you do it. You go in here and you you can also do path in the registry. So you can also do uh, we're gonna delete that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can add a path rule and then do a path to the registry. But you can also do a path on C. It's whatever you want. Um, you can do all tasks uh, new path rule. Uh, network zone, for example, you can do a rule that says. Uh, apply to let's say your work network zone or something and say nothing can be downloaded or executed in here and that's how you tighten up security software wise as well so I hope that helps out and um, uh, yeah you can run EMET alongside this one um, but this one only works on a special kind of windows and up so I'm thinking of like searching for an application that will help out with the rest for people that don't have this kind of uh, version of Windows.